Hey, look at me. <clears throat> look at me. Boy, my, boy, I just got a gurgle there. And my new King Owl shirt. And yeah. <clears throat> Hold on one second. Just kind of... <clears throat> just got out of the shower just kind of getting ready here to head on into Texas I'm almost in Lake Charles Louisiana so I still got a little ways to go to Conroe Texas it's a little bit north of Houston but when I was in the shower there's been a lot of communication in hangouts with a lot of us here probably over the last hour and it just got my mind thinking of the way things have been in the past. Something to drink. I just got back in my truck. By the way, extreme shocks. Best thing you can have as a, I mean, if they get me through the day as a truck driver, these things are good. Um, man, just don't believe all the rumors. Um, everyone's talking about the Nexus 6. The Nexus 6 uh, got announced today, be coming out sometime in November. Great. It's time for an upgrade. I love my HTC One, love my Nexus Four, uh, love the Nexus Five. So so on the Samsung Galaxy S or the Four. Um, it's a good phone. I just don't use it. But uh, a lot of rumors have been coming out, and a lot of people's talking about the the carriers it's going to be released on, and and uh, a few other tidbits. Uh, one of the things that got me was the carriers. Uh, a lot of people are going, because for some reason people have Verizon. I have no idea why they have Verizon, uh, but people use them. <laughs> uh, I, I guess there's a sucker in every bunch. But uh, well, I'm not calling any of you Verizon people suckers. I'm just saying. I know they got great coverage and fairly decent LTE speeds. I don't think they're the best speeds. But uh, they are good speeds. I mean, on Sprint, I've been up in the hundreds upload and like in the 90s downloads quite a bit, like in Minnesota and Miami and Tampa. And with Spark, that's even faster. But uh, a lot of the Sprints, like I've been in our Verizons, like I've been in Dallas, which is a big Verizon city. I've seen speeds in the mid 50s and sometimes low 60s, which anything above five or six up and down is fine. I could stream Netflix and everything. So those higher speeds really don't mean anything, but the coverage across the United States, yeah, Verizon's got a lot of people beat. I think at and is probably the only one that's right up there with Verizon. Sprint, a distant third, but like this, what I'm talking to y'all now is Sprint. I, I, I have coverage pretty much all over America, unless I'm in Montana or parts of Nevada and Idaho. So, I mean, but pretty much the rest of the United States, I got decent 4G speeds everywhere. But that that's not, I, I'm, I'm not calling one company out over another. There are, you know, we all, we're all suckers. We all pay these, this utility, uh, that they got us by the balls and, and they charge us for it. But, um, uh, a lot of people know, man, if, if you look back on the Nexus devices, every time Verizon gets a phone, they have a, a bad habit of branding it their own, putting their brand on it, where I know Sprint doesn't do that. I know T-Mobile doesn't do that because my Nexuses are on T-Mobile. Um, and putting bloatware on, Sprint makes it optional. You have to go to the Google Play Store and download Sprint stuff. And T-Mobile's the same way. They don't fill your phone full of bloatware. And uh, Verizon and AT&T are notorious for it. Uh, but AT&T, when they get a, f a, a, a phone from like Apple or Google, they, they pretty much leave it alone, uh, just like the other carriers. Verizon, not so much. Um, and <clears throat> this is just my belief. I could be wrong. But I don't believe the Nexus 6 will come out for Verizon. I, I just don't believe it. <clears throat> a lot of people, there's a lot of Verizon people I've just been talking to on the internet that say, yes, it's it's going to be on Verizon. It's coming to Verizon. I don't want to burst your bubble. And, and, and since you're on Verizon, I hope it's true. I hope you guys do get a Nexus device. I just don't 
feel that Google is going to be releasing the Nexus phone on Verizon. And in that same conversation, uh, somebody, I don't want to say who, received an email, which is probably a rumor, that at the beginning of the year, Google Glass is going to be released in retail stores in Verizon and AT&T stores. That's what kind of spurred all this because I, I made the comment, I don't see Google Glass being sold in a Verizon store uh, just because of the past history with the Nexus devices. I don't see how Google would let Verizon sell their product, brand their product, and probably throw bloatware on this just like they do everything else Verizon does. Uh, I just don't see Google selling their their products, specific products, through Verizon. I, like I said, I could be wrong. Um, but I, I'm just saying, don't believe all the rumors. Let, let's wait and see what happens. If Verizon does get to sell the Nexus, if Verizon does get to sell Google Glass... Hey, good for Google. They got another outlet for getting rid of their, you know, for selling their goods. There's nothing wrong with that. I, I would I would prefer other carriers or Best Buys or Targets or something. But uh, if they're going to go through a phone manufacturer, or not phone manufacturer, but phone companies, I, I just don't see it happening through Verizon. I don't see it. But... I have a weird outlook on phone companies anyway. I don't think they should be selling phones at all. And, and, and they should just... It, Sprint, T-Mobile, AT&T, Verizon, and all the other little, you know, second players, third players in the business, they should just be rolling out the highway. It's like driving my truck, right? Uh, we pay taxes and everything to have the roadways built, maintained, everything else. They should be building out the the highways of data um, dealerships like car dealerships stuff like that there should be phone dealerships which would be like the Best Buys Best Buy Mobiles and any other outlets yeah. I, I think um, having the phone carriers sell the products also is probably going to go away eventually just like car dealerships, I think they're going to go away eventually too. I think they're dying. I think people are going to take their cars to dealerships for maintenance. I don't think you're going to go to car dealerships to purchase vehicles in the future. I, I don't know why I think that. I'm, I'm probably wrong. But, you know, focus on building out the data, the, the highways for us to use our devices. Don't worry about selling the phones. And the only reason I'm saying this is <coughs> because... I didn't buy my Nexus 4 through a, 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 through Google Play. Nexus 5, yes, but the Nexus 4, uh, I actually bought that through T-Mobile. And when the Nexus 5 was released, I, was, I wanted to compare the two to see if I needed to upgrade to the Nexus 5. And I went to the T-Mobile store, and I set my Nexus 4 down next to the Nexus 5. And as I was, we were doing the comparison, um, my Nexus 4 started overheating. And the back was slowly splitting. And, and I, I did pictures with my HTC One of my Nexus doing that at the, at the T-Mobile store. And as it totally separated, battery was expanding, everything else, then the glass started to crack. Um, when, when it was all said and done, I wanted the T-Mobile guy, hey, replace my phone. It did it right here in front of you, right? Uh, it doesn't fall, they, they were saying it doesn't fall under warranty, and I said, wait a second, that's a defect, it happened right here in front of you when we were comparing phones, uh, that, that, it wasn't misuse, it just happened, and T-Mobile wouldn't do it, they wanted me to send the phone back to LG, and I bought the phone through T-Mobile, they should have covered that, um, so I, I've been running around for the last year and a half with a, a split up Nexus 4. Uh, so I, I just think if they're not going to maintain the phones, they shouldn't sell the phones. Worry about building cell towers. Worry about making better speeds. Worry about everything else. But um, 
back to the original thought, no, I don't think Verizon's going to get the next Nexus phone, and I don't think they're going to be selling Google Glass. And I actually don't think Google's going to start selling it after Christmas or during the holiday season, like some people were saying. I just don't see the product ready for consumers. But, like I said, could be wrong. It's happened a lot. I'm always wrong. I'm always, that's, that's the two things you can count on with me. I'm always wrong, and I'm always lost. Uh, I never know where I'm at. So, I don't even know why I'm making this video. But I'm going to go ahead and sign off. I still got about 200 more miles to go. Just wanted to say I'm clean. I showered, washed my hair, kind of shaved, man groomed a little bit. Uh, need to tell you guys that. Uh, wearing my brand new shirt. And you know what? This thing is comfortable. It's soft. I love soft t shirts. I don't like that harsh, uh, thick t shirts. I like the soft on your skin t shirts. They, they just feel really good. And, uh, the company that Virginia Poltrack is dealing with, this Cotton Society or whatever they are. Great company so far. I think I want to have a couple t-shirts printed up from them. I, I, I like them. The print is good. It, it looks like it's going to... Oh, I just dropped my drink. Hold on. I think this print will probably outlast the shirt. It, it's so well embedded into the cotton. Uh, I really enjoy it. Anyway, I'm going to go. I'll talk to you all later. Um... Thanks for all the comments on my last video. You guys are great. I was debating on quitting making videos. Uh, but a lot of you stepped up and got me going again. I think it was because I haven't changed my clothes and I haven't showered. I was just a little depressed. <laughs> so, I will talk to you guys later. I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Peace. As I have to pick up the phone to kill it. Talk to you all later.